All right, guys, it's Monday morning, and we got a lot going on this morning. We're trying to get loaded down. We're heading out for another basement job. So let's get this truck loaded and hit the road. Go up with it slow. You're straight up. Don't drop it. Looking good, come on in. That'll work, let her down. That's good. Got it. All right, we got the brace rack thrown up on the trailer. We're gonna take this little dozer and uh, pull it up behind it. Get everything chained down. Hit the road. down chain down but we are we gonna get some go-go juice and hit the road <laughs> he put a red flag on the mirror there need to keep him busier he's got too much free time for shenanigans all right guys we're just rolling in down there Clemens Clayton, back here somewhere we're gonna try to get him in the driveway here and uh, go a little differently about unloading this and see what we got. I think he's gonna have to go down the road, turn around, come back. I don't think he can make the turn this way without taking the mailbox out. All right, guys, we finally got rolled in. We went in the driveway here. We got unloaded and uh, we're shooting some elevations, trying to kind of figure out where the house is gonna sit. And uh, somehow, uh, Mike, AKA Dirt Perfect, I'll leave you out of this one. Screwed up the math on the cross measurement. Did you figure it out? Yeah. What is it? 60 foot, four inches. Oh, I was close. Like foot and a half off. <laughs> well, at least we figured it out before we started digging that's right that's a win for us all right oh dear math teacher why didn't i pay attention so i guess we need to come back over here let's just slide this one down all right 10 to 4 i gotta go back to work 
All right, guys, this is what we're at on this. Is um, we got the house laid off. I don't know if you guys can see them. There's four, there's four little green flags out there. And the house is laid off parallel with the north-south property line over here. And the homeowner's a little, uh, the concern's not the word, but he's wanting to get this house as parallel to the land, as parallel on the property as he possibly can without hiring a surveyor. So we're gonna take advantage of the resources we have. We're gonna pull the truck up and make it mimic the front wall of the house in a perfectly straight line. And then we're gonna take the drone, fly over, get a few shots, let him get some aerial views of how his house looks laying on the property and uh, get a, hopefully get an okay from him. So we got the truck parked here and then we'll get the drone in here. Yeah, you're gonna run over it and you go that way. I don't think you have to be that close to it, just to be parallel with it. Who would have knew? Parking a truck in a straight line was such a difficult task. Watch out, coming in hot. The uh, homeowner was getting a huge kick out of me flying this drone around out there. He thought it was the neatest thing ever, but this ended up working out really, really slick. I was able to fly up, use that truck as a reference, and as you can see from this first picture, this is the first shot we took. The truck's not, it's parallel with the road, but it's not parallel with that property line to your right, which you can see there defined real well. So we adjusted the truck two or three times, um, and he was able to view this on the screen, and then we flew back a little bit, got a farther shot from the road, and uh, we texted a picture to his wife and we end up getting the stamp of approval and by golly, that's where their house is gonna be. Right, guys we just got this is what we're gonna have to end up about today we got the basement laid off we got our block delivery in and we have got to run off because we gotta go meet a state inspector on another job so uh, we'll be back tomorrow for more fun in the sun <laughs> why all right guys it's a new day let me get you caught up to speed with what's going on here this day has kind of got a little bit uh goofy on me uh, Clemen, oh, uh, Captain Clemen, as you guys know him, he's a full-time firefighter and he had to work today. And Jerry was going to help me, but he decided he needed to stay in his deck, so it's just me. So, what I'm doing, I'm trying to make the best use of my time. Hold on, I got a phone call, I shall return. Alright, back from my phone call. So what I was saying was, uh, Clemen's working, he's fighting fires today. Jerry is um, staying in his deck because that's more important than helping me. <laughs> I know Jerry's retired. He can do whatever he wants to do. That's fine. So basically what I'm doing is trying to make the best use of my time with minimal help. And I'm trying to get stuff rounded up. So I went past Tell City this morning. Uh, picked up all the former drain and all the goodies I needed there. We're headed to the job now. We're going to drop them off. And then I need some ditch culverts and some felt. Uh, underlayment for the driveway so I'm probably gonna head into Boonville pick that up and get it delivered and then if I got time I'll probably do some topsoil stripping on the driveway because tomorrow as far as I know I got Jerry and Cleman and possibly another guy helping me and everything will be in place or we can just carry on and get this thing knocked out so we're uh, getting ready to roll into the job here and we'll get this uh, I got the trailer back here behind me the former drain stuff on him I think you seen but We'll get this unloaded and then head on into Boonville and get the rest of our goodies. I don't know if you guys can see through my dirty windshield up there. This is an absolutely beautiful job site. 
<laughs> that may be a stupid thing to say. I feel like I'm building a house in the middle of a golf course or something. I feel horrible tracking around on this thing, but work's got to get done, right? Look at this. See that? It's like a seven acre bean field that they claimed into a yard, and now we're destroying it to put a house in. Hey, my lumber delivery guy here. Check that out. A little rebar, a little wood, just what we always needed. All right, let's hop out and get this uh, trailer unloaded. Wish I had some like cool magic trick where I could just walk up to the trailer and snap my fingers and it was unloaded like, well, bam! Holy snikes! I can't believe that actually worked. That's absolutely amazing. All right. On to our next load. We're gonna go pick up some ditch pipes and uh, some more underlayment. So let's hit the road. Down here at JJ Farm Supply, this is like a little backyard operation. This is awesome. These guys have got it going on down here. It's just cool to see. All right, we got our goodies loaded up there, and we decided to roll into Lowe's. Lowe's, why you ask? Well, it's simple. It's closer than the other two stores. They're down the street, so we're gonna stop here. But uh, I realized when I had lumber delivered, I forgot screws and a few other oddball things. There's a bunch of people in the parking lot looking at me funny because I'm walking around with the camera, but that's all right, because I enjoy talking to you guys. So anyways, we're gonna slide in here and get some screws. What do I need screws? Oh man, this is why I should make a list. I'm gonna forget something. All right, let me figure this out. All right, I've been up and down this aisle twice looking for hex head roof screws. If you guys see them, please scream and holler real loud. Where? Oh, 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 what do we have here? Inch, inch and a half, jackpot. Oh, finally. That was 45 seconds of my life I won't get back. But I found the screws. All right, I got quarter inch nut drivers, wood screws, former drain screws, sawzall blades, sharpies, and a new tape measure. Slight chance I may have ran over my old one. Oh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't know what it is. Uh, heading to the checkout. I'm going to go with it. Mm. A lot of shiny tools though. All right, keep walking. All right guys, I got all my goodies from Lowe's. We're getting ready to, actually I'm gonna stop and get me a quick bite to eat because that's what you need to do to stay alive nowadays. I guess it's the beginning of time you kind of need to eat to stay alive. Yeah, it's a random thought. Anyways, uh, yeah, go grab something to eat and then uh, head back to the job site and get all that stuff unloaded. Let's do it. So if anybody's wondering, I decided to go eat at Culver's. Their parking lot's full, so I parked over here in the Lowe's parking lot on the other end, and I successfully have got five parking spots. I was trying hard for the six, but I thought, you know, if you take the sixth one, I could just be rude. So I stuck with five. So let's go eat. All right, guys, after a delicious lunch at Culver's, we have just rolled back into the job site down here. Gonna get, this, uh, get these goodies unloaded. Then I'll show you what we're gonna got going on the driveway here. So, well, bam!
Well, that's a bummer. Worked great last time. Guess we're gonna have to unload this one the old fashioned way. There's always got to be that one pipe out of the bunch that don't want to go with the rest, but <clears throat> So tomorrow What I'm trying to do is to get set up for tomorrow. So I've been telling you guys all day. So We're gonna start digging the basement tomorrow and we also got to I forgot the exact measurement. It's like 700 and something feet from here to the road. I don't know if you can see we got a line of flags that go all the way down through there. Basically, he wants that road offset. I think it's 12 feet. 12 feet down through there. So the flags are actually at 10 feet. So there's paint marks two feet off the flags. The flags are just kind of a reference. Paint marks actually the road. So we're going to strip topsoil on that. And then as we start digging the basement, we're going to load that into the dump truck. And I guess I got my excavator over full of fuel. It's coming out the top. Anyways, uh, we're, as the dirt comes out of the basement, we're going to load it in the truck, back it down the road there, and build the road up, get it up out of the water so it drains, and yada, 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 yada. Yeah, you guys kind of get it. So, anyways, I think I got everything good here. I'm going to check the oil and fluids and fuel and all the equipment, and to make a few phone calls, make sure everybody's still a go for tomorrow, and uh, call it a wrap on this one. We'll tie, this, tie into this first thing in the morning, and uh, hopefully get a good can't talk hopefully get a good push here tomorrow so as always guys hope you enjoyed the video don't forget like subscribe and comment ring the bell so you can be the first one to see the next video you don't want to miss out on that so you know how entertaining i am that's a stretch at best but uh yeah catch you on the next one